I am gonna go over here and get this pit boss warming up. This is the day before, uh, about 24, 36 hours maybe before we're going to smoke this. And I just get it out of the package, give it a little pat dry, and then it's going to hang out in the refrigerator for at least 24 hours before going in the smoker. The purpose of that is to form a tacky coating called a pellicle that will help the smoke adhere to this bacon. I'll show you the cold smoking. Hey. I'll show you the cold smoking rig that I uh, did the last bacon on, but today we're going to hot smoke to an internal temperature of 142 degrees. Um, I'm expecting the smoker to run in the 140 to 150 range, so we'll see about that. Uh, last time we cold smoked at about 80 degrees max, and here's what that setup looked like. So a couple different iterations. First. First thing what I did was I tried to burn a very small fire in here that would give me about 80 degrees in here. And right now it's kind of leaning over because of the wind, but I had it nice and straight and squared up. And I got my temperature probes dropped in there and I'm just working off the exhaust of my wood cooker. But uh, so the first iteration, trying to burn a very small fire and maintain the temperature around 80 degrees inside this box. And that was very difficult to do. I found, uh, what I found to be better was to burn a larger fire in the box. And I had, uh, this thing door here propped up where it was about that much open. And so a good portion of the heat would come out and not travel all the way through there but it enabled me to get a, a lot cleaner smoke in here and uh, a much better average temperature throughout the course of the cold smoking but today we're not doing any of that today we're hot smoking i'm gonna put it on the pit ball so i'm gonna get this thing cranked up All right, first thing I like to do, especially uh, when I haven't done it in a while and before a long cook, is to vacuum out this pit boss. And yeah, you might have seen I got a fire going over here or get one started. I'm not cooking over here. It's about 31 degrees outside right now, and I want to stay warm. Yeah, I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm expecting five to six hours probably, but we'll see. I mean, I might be way off on that estimate. And it looks like I need to get my temperature up on my smoker just a little bit more but again we're hot smoking this one to have a comparison we cold smoked last time using this cold smoke rig i had a temperature pose put down in here monitored temperature in there real close smoked around 85 degrees uh four different times about five or six hours at a time uh with wood with a wood fire in here but this time we're going pellets in the pellet cooker on a hot smoke and i'm shooting for 142 degrees internal temperature on this guy and i'm gonna get my little carry around remote here and monitor temperatures set an alarm for 142 on this i will probably um come and check this about every two hours and maybe turn it over i don't want to get grading burns on it or uh marking it won't really be burns but it'll be marking i to be a little bit careful about that so i might rotate it around a couple of times uh, okay so here we go all right i'm gonna go ahead and get this bacon here it says 121 back here at this probe and i'm only about 78 right here right now so i might have to bump it up a little bit I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave it on this uh, hand right here. I'm gonna kind of bunch it up a little bit because how you shape it for your smoke is how it's gonna kind of stay. And then let me find my other probe. And in order to monitor the temperature. 
try and go for one of the thicker points here. And put this in the side. So this bacon's going to be sliced this way. And I don't want to put this in like this. Because then I'll have a bunch of holes through every slice. So it goes in the side over here. Right in the middle. And try to get it pretty deep. Almost seems like I lost my fire in here. It's a little concerning. It's an awful lot of smoke. Let me check that out real quick. Just give you a little update. Um, I'm maintaining temperature pretty well in the cook zone. Between 150 and uh, 180. I've seen as high as 174. And my belly right now is at 95. I was having a really hard time. It's just barely above freezing here and the wind is whipping through here. And I was having a really hard time keeping the cooker up to temperature, kept shutting down on temperature error. So I dug out my insulated blanket to it on top and it's doing super right now. Um, I'll give you a little peek at it. We're about two hours in. I said it's gonna flip it over, but I'm pretty happy with the way it looks right now. It's really hard to see from that view, but uh, I'm just gonna let it keep going for now. Check in about another hour. I might flip it over. I want to make sure I'm not crisping up the bottom of it. But at these temperatures, that shouldn't be a problem. So everything's going really well right now. Uh, two hours in, and I'm at 95 degrees. Again, we're shooting for 142. All right, a minor hiccup. I'm on call this weekend, and I had to go to work. I was gone for about an hour and a half. What I did was shut down this because I didn't know how long it was going to be, and I definitely didn't want it to go too far. I probed the pork belly with my thermopin that was 124. I probed it when I got back home. The cooker had already cooled off. The belly was still 90 degrees. I should be able to get it back up to 124 pretty quickly and then we'll finish it off to uh, 142. So I'm about three hours of smoke time into this thing right now. I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing. It's been uh, probably about eight hours. Parts of it are right at 142. Uh, one portion of it's around 150 and some of it's not quite 140 yet around 138 but the spot that's 150 I don't want to go any more on that so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it so what's next is this will go inside get set on the counter and come back to room temperature which is uh, about 68 in our house and then we'll put it in the refrigerator for a good 24 to 48 hours let it rest up and right before slicing, it'll go in the freezer for about 45 minutes, 10 hour tops. And then we'll get it on the slicer and slice it up. So stay tuned. All right, there's what that looked like. And I separated it into three different portions. This one right here is mostly fat. We're probably gonna use that to wrap a loin or something like that. We're gonna go ahead and slice it up. Uh, this portion right here is going to be our main portion of bacon, and then this is the smaller piece. It, it really ought to be sliced this way, but I might slice it this way. I haven't decided yet. Um, we'll give you a look at the cross section here. So there's that. So if you remember, we EQ cured this live on YouTube with uh, Ryan over at Heavenly Hills, and about. 10 days, what well, was exactly 10 days that we left it in the bag. Got it out, let it sit out for about 48 hours. And then on the smoker, we hot smoked this. I kept my smoker temperature around 170 to 180 degrees and smoked this until it reached 142 internal temperature, which took me about the six to eight hour range. I lost a little bit of track because I had to shut down and go to work for a little bit of time. But uh, I want to say it was six to eight hours. And I'm pretty happy with it. But we definitely got the cure all the way. If you don't get the cure all the way, you're going to see discoloration in the center portions here where the cure didn't get all the way through. And we don't have any of that. It's absolutely beautiful looking. Here's what the smoky side looks like. Top and bottom. So we're going to slice it up and we're going to eat it. I have a Vivor 10 inch uh, meat slicer. And this won't quite fit in there in 10 inches, but you just drape it over the top a little bit and I can kind of work it over here and then continue to push the meat that way. I mean, it'd be kind of hard to get on there. I think last time we um, sliced bacon, we had it set on two and a half. So that's where we're gonna start here and 
flight's worn and see if we like it or not, and then we'll adjust. Yeah, Cooney Cooney got a lot of fat in there, but that's fine. Fat is flavor. I like to add just a touch of water when I'm frying up Cooney Cooney bacon. There's so much fat in Cooney Cooney bacon and the lard will render in the water. The water evaporates off and kind of helps prevent you from burning up your bacon before it gets completely cooked. All right, there's our bacon take. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven packages. They're all between 12 and 16 ounces, plus nine ounces of uh, scrap that we'll use to cook with. That uh, This is like the little pieces that don't go through the slicer or get stuck in the slicer or aren't big enough to go through the slicer, and we just package those up, and then we'll cook with these. Put them in the soup or something like that. There it is, Cooney Cooney bacon, delicious, pasture raised right here at Hematite Homestead, cured right here in this refrigerator, smoked right outside in our smoker. Alright, stay tuned for lots more cool stuff just like this, Hematite Homestead. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. We'll see you next time. Thank you.